Last week, the average Joes were caught like deer in the headlights, blindsided from behind as a midnight celebration turned into the moment they've been dreading from the start. Reality hit us like an anvil. Where'd they come from? Just to see his face as he turned around, priceless. In the meantime, a second rejected Joe saw the most impressive results yet from a secret makeover as he and others prepared to re-enter the chase for Anna's heart with a new and improved look. Did you know you could be so hot? <laughs> In the end, Anna heads to Tahiti and the most romantic dates yet with the men who capture a place in her heart. My heart is pounding. But first... Personal property. I will put him through a wall. Go yourself, no, no, fat boy. No, no. Tonight, the fight for a beautiful woman begins. The intense showdown of jocks versus Joes as two worlds collide under one roof right now. back to the house and we were kind of worried because we didn't know if they were going to be here before us. I am very concerned because these guys in the lineup were already hitting on Anna. Given her eyes, given her looks. I did not expect that to happen tonight. They caught me off guard too because yeah. here I am watching the fireworks. I turn around and then I see uh, five, uh, six waiters behind me. It was pure shock of them being thrown into the game right now. I warned you guys and guess what? I'm Noah, the Ark's built. Let's go inside and protect ourselves. We've battened down the hatches. The B plan is now in effect. The dynamic in the house is definitely going to change. It's going to make people question how they feel about themselves. Now that they've shown up, I think we should elect a team leader or a team captain. I think we're all leaders. Uh, we're all leaders and I think we should all collaborate. But as far as organization of activities, Dante is the perfect man for that. Here's the thing, these guys are not nice guys. I'm willing to take the ball and run with it. I'm willing to be the crazy guy. You guys can say, this guy's put a fear in them. Say, you know what? I'm the crazy guy. I've driven you guys. Here's I what will you tell them do. you're crazy all day long. No, you're it's not a problem. Them. We came up with a strategy where I am the insane lunatic of the house, and they wanted me to drive these guys nuts. You just be as crazy and as psycho. You're not going, you're not going no, to upset. No, no. You promise to shake I, my hand? I, I shake your hand. Honestly, because this is for us. Are we going to let him take us down? No! No! Are we going to let him take us down? No! Are we going to let him take us down? No! Got Ken dolls coming into the house. <laughs> Here they come. Welcome, guys! Hey, come on in! How you doing? Oh, it's great to see you! Oh, I love you guys! Hi! Dante, I want to use a good descriptive word. How you doing, Rocky? I'm Dante. Well, every one of these guys, you walk through the hall, they won't even look at me. They're scared, they're scared to say hello. It makes it easier for me. I don't have to deal with anyone. All the other beds are taken. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Yeah. No, they're not. I played a little tour guide. I said, most of the private rooms are already taken. And I thought everyone was hearing this. This looks good. This is what we're taking. We decided to walk through the house to some section that they say is off limits. And it looks like a great room. So me and Carson decided, perfect, this is it. Come on, grab a bag. Get these out of here. Fuck's out. Little man, I'm home. I feel bad for them. Because yeah, at, the at the end of the day, they're just going to be crushed. You know, they're going to be hurt. They're going to get sent home crying. And it, it, honestly, you see the tear? I got a tear in my eye for these guys. Oh, actually, no, no, sorry, I don't. <laughs> like, they flipped out. They just went nuts. They started moving beds around and stuff like that. They came into my room. They took my boy Clay's bed away. You OK? Oh, you got anything else to clear around here? It's a big. What? You can have a room of your own. We'll take room of our own. And the rest of people. Yeah, we're fair. Them. We're not complete. It's done. We need clean sheets. New towels. There's two. Let's strip the bed. <laughs> not too bad of a place. You missed a shoe, actually. I love this, man. They're already hating us, and we've never done anything to them. 
And I went downstairs, and I look out, and all, everything in the room, like my luggage is all out in the patio. And I walk in, and these guys are ripping the sheets off the beds. They're taking everything in the room that's not nailed down and throwing it on the balcony. They took my bag and ripped it open. That's personal property. Keep crying. Oh, boo boo -hoo. I didn't take your stuff and touch it. It's personal property. Number one. I'm just as strong as you are. Oh, are you? Yeah, it is too bad for you. How was that? How was that? You know, scare me, dude. This is funny. When I got downstairs, Dante was down there, and he was already confronting Carson. Carson was, he, he was getting angry and provoking him and threatening him. It's not a little intimidation. We moved in. Well, I'm moving out. That's it, boy. Oh. You can just hear yelling and arguing, and you knew it wasn't, it wasn't good. You touched my stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's personal property. <laughs> So if I took your luggage and pulled it out, then I have every right just like you touched mine, right? Try and take it out. OK. <laughs> what are you doing? Dante got eye to eye with Carson. Carson was glaring straight in his eye. Dante was glaring straight in his eye. There's a lot of tension between them. They're both just staring at each other. Carson's standing there trying to be tough, staring me down, and I'm staring him down. And you know, I've learned one thing in life. You want to get out of something, some, a bad situation, do something crazy. Hey, How you doing? No, no, no. Oh, hey, that right there? No, he just kissed him. That's fair. I'm gonna say it right now. Come here. Turn the I swear to God. He's gone. He's gone on that note. That, Dude, that's, that's a. That's 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 horrible. Did he just kiss him? Yeah, he did. It was great. I've never seen a guy so enraged and ready to kill someone. Carson just stood there in awe for like five seconds. And then he realized, a dude just kissed me. You know, like, oh, dude. Like, and he started to go off. Listen, I draw the line. If you're going to throw me off the show, I will put him through a wall. When Dante kissed him, it was one of the most disgusting things I've ever witnessed in my life. I'd rather have someone headbutt me or punch me than kiss me. That up, dude. It shocks Carson. And then he wanted to absolutely murder. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of a scary situation because I, I don't know if in different circumstances Dante wouldn't be in a hospital with a broken nose right now. That's worse than me hitting somebody and breaking their jaw. The way I was brought up, there's only one way to handle it. Do you have any idea how much that took me to hold back? I could have sworn that he was getting thrown to the glass. And it took every ounce of pride, of courage, of self-control, and just re for respect to the people around me to not do what I wanted to do. I really want to apologize. Go f yourself, no, no, fat boy. No, no, no. I honestly want to apologize. You stood in my face. No. First of all, you're the one who got my face. All right? And if this wasn't on TV, believe me. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm saying the situation would have taken a different turn. I'm saying that for everybody in this house. Because if I let them get away from that, what's the next step? But understand something. When some fat all right, violates my space and tries to stick his tongue down my throat, you want to talk about taking to a different level? These hunks are going to use devious means to make me and my Kojos look bad. If they don't understand what respect is in a gentlemanly fashion, they're going to have a war on their hands. These guys are here for their own reasons, just like everyone in our group is. But I don't want to live in a war zone. I didn't think we were going to have all this excitement so quickly. If this happened in one night, I have no idea what's going to happen in the future, but we'll just take it one step at a time. When we return, school is in session, and old wounds are reopened in the battle to win the heart of a beautiful woman. This is going to be fun. Can the average Joe strike back? Then later, four eliminations. Who stays with Anna, and who is leaving on the bus ride home tonight? gym in grade school and high school. I thought I was done with that, and here I am again. Not a pleasant, reminiscent moment. All of us average Joes, at one point in time, had to put up with these meatheads, these people who were just like, hey, pushing you out of the way, you know? They thrive off of picking on the small guy, picking on the weaker guy. First day, going back to school, a little exciting. I mean, high school for me, it's a fun time. For them, he probably walked in there and brought tears to their eyes about being bullied and wedgies and definitely not being invited to the party. Anna 
his appearance was provocative. She kind of put Britney Spears to shame when she wore the whole schoolgirl thing. She did that video and stuff, and she put her to shame in a big way. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to school. Today, we're going to play with some new rules. The old guys versus the new guys for bragging rights in the house. And a little something extra. Yeah. The first event today is wrestling. Keep it clean and good luck. We had to change into these ridiculous outfits. I felt like I was putting on a piece of dental floss and it was kind of embarrassing. The tight red suits definitely intimidated me a little bit. We're not afraid of those guys and just because they're bigger and stronger than us, that doesn't make them any better. Jason and Josh were up first. I was like, this sucks. I felt bad for Jason. I mean, that's not fair. This guy's like two, three times bigger than him, right? <laughs> Josh outweighs me by at least 50 pounds. You know, I'm, I'm 125, mostly with bone. I don't really remember too much about it. It was, uh, it was kind of a blur. He made a move. He's a little bit off balance. I knew instantly I had him. He just showed all the old guys, hey, if I could do it, so can you. After Jason beat Josh, we, we all looked at each other like, OK, there's hope. Let's do it. Let's get it on. You be watching me. I'm Josh. I actually grabbed him. I brought him down. What do I do now? Once the match started with him, I was just like, screw it, and just pinned his ass. Let's go, Rock. Come on. Come on, Rock. It looks pretty hopeless for me. Come on, Rock. Yeah. Come on, Rock. I put up a fight. I didn't let him pin me immediately. When Craig slammed me, I, I, I definitely saw stars. The final match of the day was between Dante and Carson. We had sort of been expecting this. There was a lot of bad blood between these two guys going out there today. You know, my face lit up. Chance for a little bit of revenge against Tubby. I stood there and stared at him. Never took my eyes off him. But I had to show him I'm not backing down from you. I know you want to kill me. And that's why I'm happy I'm up against you. Because it's going to be fun. There's obviously a lot of tension between them. Good luck. You got to shake my hand. It's all part of, no, you got to shake my hand. Carson just has that mentality of, if they let me, i just destroy all of them. When I stared in Carson's eyes, it was everything that's ever confronted my life in terms of my fears, all the people have ever picked on me and said things to me. <laughs> All I want to do is show people that I am a good person and I have so much love to give, and it's hard when you don't get it. I've only heard is I'm weird, you're weird, you're weird. And it's because it's being misunderstood and it really hurts inside. My whole life, I've never felt love. He's a bully, and I'm standing up for guys like me and saying, I'm not taking this anymore. Dante managed to take him down. It was amazing. What the hell? I couldn't believe it. He was so close, he had him pinned. And then all of a sudden, he got flipped around. He said, may the best man win. Obviously, who's standing here? He likes to run his mouth. Acts like a 15-year-old boy. Actually, rather, a 15-year-old girl. I, I don't even want to waste my breath talking about him. He thought it was going to be easy, and I, you know, I almost had him. And I think I shocked him. I almost had him. Why was it more than a wrestling match? Because that was everything in my life I've ever gone up against, and I defeated it. Not in winning, but in spirit, and showing that I can accomplish anything. Let's grab some milk. After the wrestling match, we were escorted to the cafeteria. Anna was behind the counter, probably the best looking lunch lady I've ever seen in my life. 
She'd been my lunch lady in middle school. I would have never left. All right, you guys, it's lunchtime. I hope you guys are hungry because our next competition is Sloppy Joe eating. So you guys have five minutes to eat as much as you can. And we're going to start with the yellow team. Go! <laughs> not knowing how we were going to win this. We are on a very strict protein diet. We have seven meals a day that are made of a certain level of protein. The new guys are worried about their looks and image because they're models. And the thing is, we're real. <laughs> so I'm thinking, great. I'm the guy who can eat six sloppy joes in five minutes, and now she thinks I'm gross. But I'm hoping that she realizes that it was for her. <laughs> Like chocolate chip <laughs> <laughs> A light bulb went off in my head. Basically, I told them, I said, listen, they're going to sit there and they're going to make themselves look like animals, shoving those things into their faces. Disgusting, you know? They're looking basically the pigs that they are. Three, two, one. You're done. Good job. Yes. So, guys, listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to sit there and we're going to deliver a slap to these guys. We want to embarrass them. All right, yellow team, your total was 25. Can you guys beat that? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Go. <laughs> what we did was genius. I delivered the slap. It was great. We just came up and went. I thought I was a little bit chicken of them to just get up from the table and, and not compete. I saw the way they were looking at the Slappy Jones. There was no way they were going to eat. We went away with some more pride today because we gave it all we got, and in my eyes, we won. All right, guys, it's all tied up. One, one. Our tiebreaker is dodgeball. Yeah. You all right, Josh? Yeah, I'm so nervous. That's all. All right, don't worry about it. I'm good. I'm good. We can do this. Do this. It's tied one to one. It's anyone's game. We're going to keep smashing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Even though we were all sitting in the locker room training, planning, strategizing for this moment, we had been trained by the average Joes. They gave us ample training, honed our dodgeball abilities. There's no way we'll lose. You got to keep it simple. The simple things are always keep your eye on them and throw low. And never try and catch a ball that's not right here. We got pumped. Being able to beam somebody in the head with a ball at 30 miles an hour, can't beat that feeling. It's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, for our tiebreaker, we're going to play some dodgeball. We're going to play shirts and skins. Yellow team, you will have your shirts. Black team, skin. <laughs> My body is a finely tuned American-made sedan. Their body is a finely tuned, highly waxed and polished Italian-made sports car. Enough of the buff. This is all about the Joes. This is about us versus them. On the sound of my whistle. <laughs> It was like raining dodgeballs. It's like, oh no, careful, don't hit him, don't break him. It was ugly. We were pelted. We were stoned. There was no stopping these balls unless with our faces. So it was pretty much a big blur of a lot of muscle and red. I didn't know if the red was blood or, or balls. It was just a sea of red coming toward me. How am I supposed to maneuver on the dodgeball court, throw uh, a dodgeball with full force when I have these sloppy joes swishing around in my stomach? And those guys were a little bit shocked that the smallest guy on the court was taking it to him and knocking him out. Like I said, you know, we're going to come after them. We're not scared of them, not one bit. Clay, that guy, wow. He is uh, precise. He is quick. If he wasn't on our team, this floor would have been swept with us.
dodgeball, it, it was a slaughter. Game over. I think the average Joes played with a lot more heart than, you know, the new guys did, just because we were there to prove ourselves. We definitely put our heart and soul into it. All right, I guess the new guys are our winners today. And because you guys are the winners, I get to choose one of you for a date with me tonight. And I choose Rocky. Congratulations, Rocky. Would you go out on a date with me tonight? I would love to. And the reason I chose Rocky is he really stood out for me, especially like, during the wrestling match. He was very polite. He went over and, you know, congratulated the guys and, you know, wanted to be friends. He was trying to be one big happy family. I mean, I really liked how he handled himself. Congratulations, new guy. You know, winning this date is a huge deal. On these private dates, you're going to get some time to really show your true colors and be yourself. And, and that's really when it's going to come down to. That's the important thing. All these roses we have. For my date, I took Rocky back to my yacht. It's beautiful. Very romantic. Yes, it is. When I was next to Rocky, I got nervous. I got shy. I was giddy. <laughs> I got insecure. I was like, he's just so, you know, beautiful. I felt like a little girl. <laughs> Tell me. I don't know anything about you, and you probably okay. heard all these little nit bits from the house. It's like I was really curious to know if, if he really liked me or if he's playing some game. I'm a dreamer, and I, I always want to have a new experience. As far as chasing dreams, you know, I really believe that if you want something badly enough and you put all your effort into it, you know, it's just a matter of time before it happens. I'm a hopeless romantic. <laughs> I mean, this is a dreamer's fantasy right here. I mean, I'm a dreamer. I do believe that there's a woman out there that's meant for me. You know where you want to, you know, Ten years from now or so. Rocky did say he was a dreamer and a romantic, and that's a tough issue for me because I'm always looking for someone who has like plans in their life. I am a hopeless romantic. <laughs> I um you know it's part of being a dreamer. It's part of you know wanting the fantasy. You see women that want to meet Prince Charming and be swept away. I don't know. Prince Charming there's no such thing. I mean. Oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> it seems so risky to fall for a Rocky. Well, it is a beautiful night. It is. Would you like to join me in the jacuzzi? That sounds like a great idea. I don't know that I like the fact that, like, these guys come in here and they want a competition and now they get a one-on-one -on -one date. Do I wish it was me? Oh, yeah. Or one of you guys? Yeah. yeah. All I've been wanting is to, like, have a one-on-one -on -one date and, and I can't get it. Come in. You know what? They got a fair shot, just like we do. She'll pick the person who has a good heart. I think Rocky's gonna come home smitten. You think so? Yes. yes. After dinner, we headed over to the hot tub. Cheers. The future possibilities. I like that. We had some champagne. We couldn't resist. We forgot the cameras all around us. I mean, I was in a trance. looks into my eyes, it's like he's looking into my soul. At one point, Rocky just grabbed my champagne, set it down, and turned around and just kissed me. I wanted to kiss her. I couldn't resist it. You know, I had to take that chance. And it really confirmed everything that I had thought. When he looks into my eyes, I'm so powerless. I'm a passionate person. And if I see something I like, I can't help but to feel. I know I have to be fair to both sides, but I don't think there's any girl out there that wouldn't <laughs> do what I did. And it will be mine. It's the way it's meant to be. And I will stop at nothing to make sure that's the way it turns out. I think passion, like what we experience, is very dangerous. I think it can <laughs> shield your view of life. And <laughs> Will it last? I would hope it would. But can I base a whole relationship on it? Something I really have to think about. 
When we return, the surprise before and after as another average Joe goes from passed over to made over. But first, four guys learn their hopes of a future with Anna ends in a bus ride home, rejected tonight. I'm going to play beach volleyball with all the new guys. I'm very curious to see what's behind all their good looks. I think I'm going to relive the whole Top Gun volleyball scene. <laughs> I don't think there's a guy out there that hasn't seen Top Gun 40 times. Yeah. I wanted to be Maverick just as soon as the movie came out. Then you guys have great bodies, and they look great on the beach. Ah. Just because their bodies are perfect and they look pretty doesn't mean that they're great individuals. How are you getting along with the um, <laughs> other guys? I get a group that I stick with. You don't know who you can trust if you say something to some person. And you know, I trust, it's it's I trust game, Craig from way. Kansas, and I trust Carson from New York. So, you like to travel? I love to travel. Do you? Have you been to Europe? I have. I spent five months traveling over Europe. Really? So where have you been? Prague. Oh, Pro oh my gosh, Prague is beautiful. Bridge. This is nothing compared to the wheat fields in Kansas. Wheat fields in Kansas. <laughs> What do you do out in Kansas? I bartend, model, and I want to get my architectural degree. Sit hi, how's it going? What's up? <laughs> I noticed right away, besides, you know, your eyes, you have a great smile. You're always smiling. I like that. Thank you. I noticed about standing next to each other when we first came in. You don't look away. You're not scared from someone's glance, which is a show of confidence. Brad has such great energy. He's always smiling, and I love that about a guy. It just shows you're a happy person. From Vegas, aren't you? Yeah, you are too. Mm hmm. What um, do you do? Well, I bartend for Elton John. Is he a nice guy? He's really a great guy. It turns out we have all these mutual friends because Vegas is so small, so bizarre, and strange. We never met. So you're from the East Coast? From the East Coast, from New York, yeah. What did you do out there? Uh, I owned nightclubs. Really? Yeah. Uh, nice clubs. I just wanted to know what's behind you. Come on. Don't be a tough guy. So what do you think so far? Of what? Of you or Come on. Every... <laughs> Why not? Hey guys. Hey, I'm a bit homesick today, and there's one of you that comes from the same hometown as me. Josh, would you like to join me tonight? I'd love to. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. What's up? from being from Vegas to wearing the same color shirts this evening. Pink's a random color, so maybe it was fate. You now only time can tell. Thank for you. Thank you very much. Is there a reason why you have Excellent. a Shirley Temple? Well, I don't dig alcohol that much. No? Um, That's a surprise coming from Vegas party time. It is, yeah. I actually got sober about eight months ago. Things have been so much better in my life since I stopped. I stereotyped him as a Vegas guy. Oh, he's a partier. He, you know, he just bartends. I feel horrible. It's on. That was great. We're that having a nice great. meal at the nice dinner table. Mike and Carson come on in with their big muscles and lots of testosterone and try to turn everything over. I'll tell you one thing. I spent about three and a half minutes on that blanket with her today, man. And it took me a minute and a half to realize that she's full of she's, but she is you know, her attitude, it's for the camera. Mike and Carson are telling everyone, oh, she's a fake, you know, she's trying to be an actress. I think they're trying to intimidate people. Maybe it was in her eyes that she wasn't enjoying her time with you and she couldn't wait until she was done talking she to you. She wasn't there. These guys come in, no regard whatsoever for respect. She came out for the reality show. She got picked as the chick, and now she's hoping this is going to launch her career. They're trying to tell me that I'm fooling myself. Keep my guard up. She doesn't give a about you. She doesn't give a about him. She doesn't give a about him. She definitely doesn't give a about me. <laughs> Don't rain on my parade. Just because you're not capable of seeing the beauty of Anna doesn't mean that I can't. It hurts me to hear that you don't think she's a real friend. I don't know she's a real friend. You got it. Come on, dude. He's a fool, and that's what we're trying to let him know. As much as I think you're naive, you know what? I would like to be proven wrong. A lot of these guys in here, they've never dealt with a girl of her caliber before. 
to me, to Mike, to Craig. And it's an everyday thing. You know what? I don't see it that way. I see it as helping you out. I just don't want to believe what you're telling me. Okay, then don't believe it. Art is having all these feelings for Anna, and he is just devastated. You know, Carson, he's a predator. He goes after people, and he finds their weakness, and it really destroyed Art. He was really actually maybe full for this chick, chick. And then all of a sudden, shows up, and he's like, really happy for somebody, and not I oppressed her. That's why she chose me. The way Carson and Mike are explaining it, I'm in a charade right now. And that sucks. You need to find a girl that is like you. That's not Anna. They explained some things that I refused to look at. I didn't want to look at it. There's so many other Women out there. There's a and there's so there. many other women out there that will respect you guys for the way respect you really you. are. A girl like her is never, never gonna go for a guy like that. Unless you have $36 billion in your bank account like Bill Gates. Do you really think that any connection she said you guys might have had, do you think that That's that true. was really honestly 110% genuine? It felt true to me. You know in the back of your head that this girl could be here for other reasons than you think. I'm just mad that I allowed myself to be vulnerable to share with her. And if they're right, then I'm embarrassed. Do you really think, do you really think I'm telling you, man. she does not want to? let them get to him. I didn't want to see him break like that, but they were definitely a team. We've been through this before. We've had these experiences. We're when it comes jump. down to it, Mike, Mike and Carson, I commend them on their psychological strategy. This was a strong dose. This is a very strong dose. I thank you, too, for bringing me to reality. I just hope this isn't a big joke. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to be the, the brunt of the joke. That would upset me. I got to go away right now. I, I don't feel good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Honestly, I wish I never met Carson and Mike, because they rained on my parade. And that's all I'm going to say. shock you with my ballet recitals. <gasps> so ballet. I did. Were you teased? I was teased a lot. I got so involved in it, I actually, on the back of my letterman jacket, it says Twinkle Toes. <laughs> That's it's all cute. good. I think for a guy to open up to a girl and tell me as many things as he did, I, I was very impressed. I'm very happy I picked you tonight. I hope you see the real me. It's tough for me to be on my side because I know you guys are all competing for me. You know what? You could tell me to leave right now, and I would still try to get a hold of you. She's incredible. It's definitely hard to say goodbye. I'm so glad you picked me. You have no idea. He gave me a really nice kiss. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It was perfect. I feel very comfortable with you. I feel bad right now that we just made him feel like that. We had to take the look back and say, you know what? Those two guys are right. I'm so glad that they said it when they said it. Michael and Carson definitely add a whole new dynamic to the situation. I think the strongest love bond is actually not between anyone in the house and Anna, but it's between Mike and Carson. And I'm getting the same, hello, Michael, how are you? Damn sure. I'm happy for Carson and Mike. You know, if things don't work out with Anna, at least they have each other. Oh. Carson and Mike, I listened to them so intently that I became immersed in their school of thought. And I said, what if they are correct? I started to doubt my heart. You okay. know what? Every one of us that, that's been here with her has said she's real, she's legit. And it's these guys that have met her one time that are saying, oh, she's nothing, she's fake. They're trying to get on your skin, they have. So you need to be confident in what you felt mm -hmm. and not even question it. And debating it with people that have not dated her I nor agree. want to date with her is a waste of your time. Yeah, you know, if she poured her heart out to you, it means something. It's not just for TV. And Carson and Mike temporarily pulled me off cloud nine. And now after talking to everybody, I'm you know, looking at everything. I want to go back to cloud nine because I like looking at what I was feeling better than what they exactly. told me. I'm going to get a water. 
You're good to go. You I'm, know, I'm, you know I it's feel great. great. I feel great. As long as I keep doing what I'm doing, expressing myself the way I have with her, being who I am, I am a contender. The elimination is next. Four guys, two from each side, learn their fate is to board the next bus leaving tonight. Then, the secret makeover that takes one from rejected to perfected. And later, <laughs> the trap is set for the next dramatic twist in this story tonight. They betrayed me. Tonight is the third elimination. I'm on my way to the house right now. I'm going to be sending home two of the new guys and two of the old guys. This is the hardest part for me. I feel like I've gotten to know you so well. And now I have to say goodbye to four of you. The first person I have to say goodbye to... ...is Michael. I'm pumped, man. I got exactly what I wanted. I'm heading home back to Dallas. I'm not upset at all. Anna does nothing for me. I'm glad Carson's still here, you know, but uh, I'd hate to see him with her in the end because then she may end up tagging along or something with us. <laughs> the next person I have to say goodbye to is Jason. I was, I was very surprised that my name was called. I know I've got a lot to offer, but by not having one-on-one, -on -one, I guess she never realized it herself. I think the next guy is wonderful and a complete sweetheart. But Greg, I must say goodbye to you. When she said my name, I thought I didn't hear it right. I was pretty confident in my, the way that I look. It was kind of a shot to your ego, because based on what I look like, I'm not her type. The last person I have to say goodbye to is a beautiful person. I don't think a lot of people understand him. Don't you? I have to say goodbye. I'm so proud I made it this far. It's all right. Don't feel upset. I mean, I would love to go out to the next level, but going this far, and beating out all these people, and I was standing there, it's one of the greatest accomplishments. And I have no sadness, no pain. I just want to be your friend. If I can have that, it's the greatest thing of all. It was a pleasure meeting you. See ya. Bye, guys. While I was here, I proved that I can do anything. I can face my worst nemesis, and I can say what I feel. And that's, that's a wonderful thing when you're misunderstood. It's that true heart that keeps you going. And if you're true to yourself, you'll never lose. Each week, one rejected average Joe will be selected on the bus for a makeover and a chance to return with a new and improved look. Gotcha. I wanted to get this makeover because I, I need help. This is my chance to change, to better myself, and feel better in general. Elizabeth gave me the tools of looking inside of myself, looking at my fear. I would describe Dante as someone who steps on other people's boundaries, who is dying for attention, even if it's negative. 
You know what? Close your eyes. People are saying to you, you're crazy. You're nuts. Wild. You're overwhelming. You smell. How does that feel? I feel sad. The life coach was actually tearing me apart in a good way to show me how to delve inside myself and understand myself better. I hope that he can just surrender a bit. And he's going to be so much happier and so much more charming. Right in here. We were told Dante had a bit of a hygiene problem, so we gave him a special six-step body treatment. They wrapped me up in seaweed. It felt like a burrito. Thank you. Bye-bye, Johnny. Bye. The inside's more important than the outside. And when you improve the outside, you'll find out the inside just starts blending in. It grows out. It grows out like clown hair. Too full on the sides. First, I was a clown, and now I'm not a clown. I got a nice manicure, pedicure my back, I'm hairy, so I get a nice wax job. Wow! Then we went to Lisa Klein, and I got some really great clothing. Your energy, and your hair, and your jewelry, you don't need the clothes to be so, I think you look good. The most important thing I wanted to get done was my teeth. When I first saw Dante's teeth, my first reaction was, am I gonna be able to do this? Is it possible? Getting my teeth done was the hardest thing of all because I was in a chair for eight hours. They have to grind your teeth down. Plus, you're awake the whole time. As far as being chatty, Dante posed a small challenge. We suffered through it. We did 19 veneers and 18 teeth. This is something that most people mortgage their house to get done, and I'm very, 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 very thankful for that. Now that I got contacts, my eyes are blue, I have a tan, I'm looking hot and sexy, and for me to go back and have that chance to see Anna, it's a dream come true. The reaction I hope to get from Anna is she'll say no to all the other guys and say, Dante, you're the guy for me. Average Joe next week. Let's do this. It's guys night out for dinner and drinks. Hey, hey, hey served with an epic twist. The guys think they're out on the town with no one watching, but nothing could be further from the truth. They betrayed me. The most elaborate undercover sting yet reveals who's truly here for Anna. My heart belongs to one woman. And who can't be trusted when they think she's not around. It's like you give up your heart and then they break it. The most sobering twist yet. <sighs> Average Joe next week.